the Tech PB Show. It's the Tech PB Show, the best paintball show in the whole world. Here we go. So we're going to redo the Woods Ball video Test. with uh, narration. Yeah. Everyone seems to like the narration, so let's do it. And um, you're going to take a look here at the equipment that I'm using in this video. And I'm using a Bob Long MTAC. Uh, which actually is really cool because you guys just saw me just pull the charging handle to turn the gun on. It actually okay. has a functioning charging handle. It's what took them so long to release it was uh, they were perfecting that charging handle, which is pretty badass. Um, I'm using a Flurry Industries vest, uh, using a Ninja Paintball tank, and one of the cool things that Ninja Paintball is they have this thing called in-flight refueling. It basically attaches to your... Um, it attaches to your tank, and that way you don't have to take your tank out to your tank fill nipple. Uh, you don't have to take your tank out to fill it up when you're at the air fill station. So I've got that in there. Oh, Ninja hell? remote coil, and I'm using a clear Pinocchio, and the uh, uh, oh, with a 400 weird. round attachment on it. Now the main reason why I put the attachment on there was I've never played this woods ball field before, and I believe the game is probably like a 15 on 15. And um, I'm kind of going down the right side again, uh, but a little bit more inside. I'm trying to look up the middle to see if I see any sort of snipers or lay down. Hey, Willie, get about 20 yards behind me. Now, this is going to be pretty tough. I'm, I'm trying to move up without getting mowed. Now, I've got a referee that's standing on top of me. Uh, Willie's got a white... Uh, <laughs> He's got a white V-Force grill, and he's standing a little bit behind okay. me here. And uh, so, obviously, any sort of cover of stealth is not going to be my friend here. Is <laughs> I definitely do not have any cover, you know, any sort of stealth cover or anything like that. So I'm on point, basically, and basically doing a sniper sweep. Contact. I spot, uh, right spot somebody laying down. Now I have the MTAC on 15 balls per second, um, three shot burst. Right here. Now I see somebody laying down now. He took cover once I started shooting at him. So I'm going to start moving up into a better position and keep an eye on him so I don't lose him. Did he drop back? So he dropped back a little bit so I'm trying to catch up. Now when the microphone gives out here, uh, the wireless microphone we have only has a range of about, uh, probably about 70 or 80 feet. And so Willie's obviously dropping back a little bit, so that's why you're hearing the static. And uh, so I'm starting to move up. Now I'm completely out of microphone range. He's straight on in front of me. Okay. There, there, there. I'm just basically, um, you know, engaging the person that I saw laying down in the woods. Okay. okay. So I believe he finally called himself out. Now, usually in woods ball, when you run into one person, you're going to start running into a <laughs> lot. Now, he was probably, uh... Yeah, okay, no problem. Um, uh... You know, okay. so when you run into one person, you're going to start right. running into more. A drop back and look over there to our right. Okay. Drop, drop back and look over here, because I think there's going to be people over here. Now, I've got somebody that I'm working with, so I'm just trying to communicate with them. Um, we were kind of bunching up a little bit, so I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, he maintained a little bit of distance from me, that I maintained a little bit of distance from him. Wanted to make sure that if somebody took me out or took him out, they didn't take both of us out. Nothing? Okay. Well, if we stay together, like shoulder to shoulder like this. If somebody sees us, they're going to see us both. So we'll go over there to that tree over there to the right. Or, or yeah, keep going. I'm going to come over there. Okay. Okay. I don't see anything. I'm moving over here to the right. So right now I'm just getting through the woods. Now I apologize for the camera being bumped down. Um, the, uh, uh, just a, you know, unfortunately, there's What's no up? fucking mirror out in the woods, so I have no idea okay. where the camera is pointed. I'm gonna stand up. Now, what I'm doing right here was I was I was on my knee, so I got off of my knee to look over some brush. Hey, we are pretty much to the other end of the field. 
We can start cutting in now. So anytime you hear, um, you know, when you're in the woods, one of the major things you want to do is anytime you hear a um, hear shots being fired, you really want to focus on, on where those are coming from. Hey, are those your on? team? Straight on. Straight right here. Um, is that your team shooting back or them shooting back at your team? Um, but anytime you hear shots in the woods, you really want to pause for a second and see where they're coming from. Most of the time, people in the woods are not moving around very much. So when you hear a shot, you can almost guarantee that the people are going to be within that general area when you make it back there to, uh, uh, to engage them. Hey, so where are you at? Move over there to the right. Move over there to the right. Now I'm okay. a little bit in front of him. We're starting to cut in. We're at about their 30-yard okay. line. Starting to cut in. Um, now, since I'm got, in front of him, I'm kind of telling him where I think the straight people are at, so we can kind of flank on him. I want to reload right now if you're going to. Gotcha. So I know that we're about okay, I'm gonna, to. Uh, I'm move over here to the tree. I know that we're about to move up on a couple people, so I'm obviously just checking my paint. Moving up from cover to cover, making sure that I've got a little bit of cover on my left, little cover on my right using the tree for cover. The best part about using thick trees for cover is that if I make a mistake and the person's further to my left or further to my right than I think he is, when he shoots at me, all I gotta do is hop and put the tree in between me and my opponent. So right now I'm just scanning the woods, just checking the woods. You know, obviously in woods ball, I mean, time is always on your side in woods ball, except for the last part of the game. Um, usually movement is what gives people away. So I move up to a nice tree. Obviously I see a referee, so I know there's got to be players around this area. Um, generally referees just don't stand out in the middle of nowhere. Hey, They're usually on. hovering over a couple players. I think so. Hey, can you kick out? Can you kick out to that tree? So basically what I'm doing is is the, the teammate that I have, um, I have an idea where I think they're at. Um, obviously with him being behind me, he can't see that. So I'm, I'm trying to position him in a place where, um, I'm trying to position him in a place where me and him, when we both move up, we don't basically move up in a single file line. You know, the people are going to have to shoot either to the left or to the right. So I'm just kind of kneeling down here trying to scan the woods. Now, usually when you're on your own like this, um, and, and I always play point when I'm on when I'm playing woods ball. So, um, you know, I'll move up aggressively, then stop and scan. Move up aggressively, stop and scan. Hey, where are you at? Okay. Hey, ready? Watch for the tires. So now we're moving up on a fort. Now this is the first time I've ever played in these woods before. So I'm I'm willing to guess there's got to be somebody in that fort. Um, but I find out afterwards that there's actually a second story to that fort, and that's where most of the shots were coming from. There's actually people in the up top fort. Yep, there comes shots coming in. So I'm trying to figure out where they're coming from right here, but I've never played this field before, and I had no idea that there was somebody in a top story. I thought it was just a roof. There was actually a, a cover up there, and there was two people up there shooting down at me. So now I'm trying to find a better spot to hide behind, find a nice thick tree. Now even though it doesn't look like it in the video, I'm trying to keep my gun up, even though I'm scanning the woods. Now you're going to see in the video, um, there's a camera actually mounted on my gun. Unfortunately, the um, uh, my computer can't render three videos at once. So I tried top, and it just... He's up top! He's up top! So I finally he's figured out that top. the guy was hiding up top. So I yell back, tell my, tell my teammates where they're at, come back to a nice little cover place.
So they're obviously shooting at me. Um, that's just uh, some splatter coming through the woods. Now I've set the MTAC in full auto at this point. Now I'm attacking a fort um, with basically one other one other teammate. I have no idea how many people are in that fort. Um, I have an idea there's about four people in that fort. But uh, but I'm definitely taking advantage of the firepower that I have with the MTAC and uh, putting that thing in full auto. Just because I'm completely on, you know, we're completely on our own on their side of the field attacking their fort. So now, I'll tell you oh, what wow. happened here. Um, I went to drop back and got entangled in some vines. And when I got entangled in the vines, it ripped the nose off the Pinocchio. So it was oh, like no, trying to I run through a freaking nose. cargo net. Kind of sucked. But uh, Shit. so I lost my Pinocchio nose. Um, I'm looking around in the grass trying to find it. I now, lost the fucking nose. So unfortunately, it's clear. So now the game's still alive, you know, there's no timeout in paintball. So I'm taking a look around, trying to find my equipment. You know, it's not the first time I've ever had a loader fall off or something break or something like that, you know. Better, you know, better the Pinocchio knows than my mask getting ripped off, you know. So, you know, the game's still alive, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to figure out where the hell the Pinocchio nose went. Um, so when I spun around, it came off the front because... Uh, um, there was a bunch of vines that were hanging down, and th the oh, vines were actually it, so it. strong that they actually stopped me from running backwards. So I finally find the Pinocchio nose. Okay. Get it okay. snapped back on there. Lost about 200 paintballs. So um, just taking a quick breather. Time to reload again. Now, actually, during that whole commotion of me looking for the nose of the Pinocchio. Uh, one of the players that was in the fort dropped back and went over to a hyperball field. Are you still alive? He's gone. And also, unfortunately, when I was looking for the Pinocchio nose, uh, the the people at the fort took advantage of it and shot out the the guy that was uh, the player that I was working with. So now I'm on my own again. So definitely kind of sucks that I've got entangled, but you know what shit happens, it's paintball, and, and you know, I found it, the loader wasn't broken, it just detached, and time to go play again. So right now I'm just kind of taking advantage of the cover, um, trying to look around, and also when I got entangled it tipped the camera even further down, which kind of sucks for you guys that are watching. So now time is on my side. Um, we're only about 10, 10, 10 to 12 minutes into a 45 minute game. So I'm just taking advantage of the time. And um, Now I'm standing up here just because I know I'm in deep shit. Okay, yeah. there's a ref right there to my left. He basically told the other team exactly where I'm at. Um, you know, I had a mon you know, monetary pause where I couldn't figure out where the other team was at. Uh, when I lost my Pinocchio Hopper, so now I know I'm in serious trouble. Now I can't drop back. If I drop back, my own team's going to shoot me. So I'm kind of stuck like Chuck in this place. So I'm just trying to get a bearing of what exactly is going on. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just moving through the woods to a different spot. I'm trying to move over to the tape. Oh, hit, 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 hit. Hey, aren't you out of bounds? This this cable? So what happened here was I got confused with the this with cable. the um there's a hyperball sure? field that was behind I this cable the was out of bounds. There was a hyperball field that was it's behind not? the uh woods oh, ball okay, field and I didn't know that they were allowed to go back there. So um, I saw yeah, the I tape. The I didn't want to go out of bounds, so I ran over to the tape. That's my bad. And uh, when I ran over to the tape, I said, "Okay, this is as far as I go." And then I got shit. shot out from the hyperball field. So it kind of sucks. I thought the. But not a big deal, you know, because I mean, it's my first time I ever playing on that field, and, and I had a good time. So. Oh well. Um, so that's about it. So I narrated the video. 
Um, we're going to get better and better than this, and something else that we're going to do is we are going to start running three cameras on the, when we're out there. I mean, I'm six foot four, dude. I'll carry a hundred pounds in camera equipment when I'm out there, you know, playing in the woods. I don't care. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning in.